and welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today I'm going to take you through the whole process so you can create some fantastic high quality photo scenery for your sim in X-Plane 11. Then we're going to do custom scenery and then I'm going to show you how to complete the whole lot and have it ready to fly within the sim. Let's get to it. Well here we are with the user interface. So we start at the top here, we've got our map and you can see where our latitudes and everything will show up once we've selected where we're going to go. Here you can select your source, which is where you're going to get your information from. Your zoom levels here. And you, I don't tend to do the water that often. You don't need to, I don't think. Down this area, you don't need anything. But this is the most important one. Look here closely at the path so that you can get your information so that the sim can actually build your tile. So it's going to be C. Then it's going to be in your... Um, not custom scenery it's just in your main scenery folder so have a look at that if you're not sure go back and have a look I'll put it on screen for you the right path okay it's really crucial because if you get that wrong you don't go anywhere so you use your mouse button and you can just drag the mouse along you tick those two on the left there and hit build and you're already building your tile it looks like you're not doing anything at all you look at this page but if we go back to the previous page there it is, it's all happening. So all you're gonna do is sit back now and wait until it's completed. And at 16 and 17, you're not waiting that long. You're probably waiting 20 minutes or something like that. At 16, probably 35 to 40 at 17. And uh, from then on, the next trick that we have is then to build some custom scenery. So let's say you want your airports to be a higher quality you go ahead here and you've already got your location set you can see it lined out here where the map is so I'm just using I've got 17 click there and then I've got 19 clicks so I'm just clicking on that holding down the control or the shift you can do it two different ways so now what I'm going to get around Aldinga is going to be zoom level 19 then around it I'm going to get zoom level 17 and you can build that out and out and out if you want and then all you need to do from there is hit the build the tile and sit back and this takes hardly any time at all guys because as you can see those tiles are already there you can see the old ones out which they have to it has to go and get new information from for so this is a five five minute task once you've built your main one so uh, you can actually do a number of airports, you can do lots of different things and what they will give you is really beautiful, crisp, clear scenery as you're coming into land and if you step it out a little bit and drop the quality level just a little bit you'll save a lot of disk space as well. So once you get it all done you can see uh, look this is taken hardly any time already isn't it and we're just about done so we're going to have our custom scenery and our zoom level scenery already finished. Yeah, I did cut off the, <laughs> the, the 20 minutes it took to build the, the main tile, but this is real time. Okay, you can see how quickly it's taking to, uh, to build this custom scenery around the Aldinga Airport. So that's just about done. And then the most important thing after this, step three, is installing it all. So there we are, all finished and ready to go. Now we need to go into the ortho uh, directory, go and get a, go and get the file. Now what you can do, you can copy the file from the tiles. Now I've got this on my D drive, I don't put it in my C because it's an SSD. So we can go here and go into ortho, go into tiles, and then what you can do is take that tile, copy it, or cut it and paste it into your explain custom scenery directory but I don't do that because it takes up too much space so what I do is as you've seen there I've created a shortcut I've cut the shortcut and I'm going to paste that into my explain directory my custom scenery why do I do that two reasons one it doesn't really seem to take that much longer to load the thing in the first place and two I want to save my SSD for for more important tasks so if you were going to fly from one particular place like Gawler, like I do, um, then I would probably have that, um, the full tile. So the little bit that I've just done there, you've seen, 
I looked into the any file, which is the configuration file, and you can see there's nothing there yet. What we need to do is just start Xplane 11 till we get to the opening screen. That's all we need to do. And what that does is it gets Xplane to grab that file and recognize that it's there. It knows now I've got some new scenery to play with. And it doesn't matter if it's the physical uh, tile or whether it's the shortcut, it doesn't matter. But what it does do is puts it at the very top of our any file, which we don't want our config file because that means it's more important than everything else. So we go back into our custom scenery folder, go into our scenery packs there, and you can see it's at the top. Now what we need to do is just cut that, and then we go down amongst all the other sceneries that I've got down the bottom, and that is the ortho files. The ortho files go down the bottom, mesh goes below that, um, your scenery libraries go above that and then above that again on top of the file goes all your airports guys if you're not familiar and that's it it's done you're ready for some nice brand new scenery inside x-plane 11. i hope that wasn't too quick for you but if it was feel free to go back and i'll see you again at let's fly vfr real soon thank you for spending your time catch you again